right, so here is an outline and a diagram of my experiment, and what we have is a table, and on top of the table is a pencil with a coiled up spring. I will coil up the spring and let it go, and then it will then hit the golf ball, which will roll across the table, hitting a yo-yo, which is placed at the very end of the table. The yo-yo will then fall off the table and hit the top of a case, which will then fall over and close. All right, so as you can see here, this is the pencil with the spring attached and the golf ball, which has a straight line of path down to the yo-yo. There's a yo-yo. And here is the marble case. Now, in order to find the energy transferred from the spring to the golf ball, we use the equation potential energy equals one half times the spring's constant times um, the amount, the distance the spring was either shrunk or stretched uh, to the power of two. Now, in this case, potential energy then turns into kinetic energy when the spring is fully released onto the golf ball. So my calculations were the potential energy equals one half times the estimated constant of the spring 50 multiplied by 0 0.0635 meters that the spring was shrunk um, to the power of two and I got that the potential energy was 0 0.1 joules. Now in order to find the energy transferred from the golf ball to the yo-yo, I kind of made up my own equation based on the equation work, work equals force times distance. And um, in this case, the work energy principle states that the work done on an object is equal to the change in the object's kinetic energy. So I'm assuming that energy and work can kind of be the same. And so the equation I made up was the energy equals the mass times the acceleration of gravity times the distance the golf ball traveled times the coefficient of friction times the force exerted on the object from the spring. And so my calculations were the energy equals 0 0.048 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second times 1.07 meters traveled times the co estimated coefficient for friction 0.23 uh, times 0.1 joules, which is the energy exerted, and my results were 0 0.012 joules were exerted from the from the um, golf ball to the yo-yo, which made it, which was just enough energy to make it tap off the table. And lastly, to get the energy transferred from the yo-yo to the lid, we can use the potential energy gravitational equation PE equals MGY which is also the potential energy equals the mass times gravity times the distance it was traveled. So I got that the potential energy equaled 0 0.4381 meters traveled times 9.8 the acceleration um, times 0 0.052 kilograms which was the weight of the yo-yo. Um, and my final result was the potential energy equaled 0.22 joules.